Handstand Kneeling Tuck Press. If you're learning to kick up to handstand or looking to improve your kick up to handstand, you should check this out. The Kneeling Tuck Press teaches us several key elements that help to improve our kick ups. This applies to split kick ups, kneeling tuck jumps, straddle jumps, and pike jumps. Here's how it works. Start in a kneeling position with the knees and feet together and your glutes resting on your calves. The hands are placed on the floor, shoulder width apart with the index fingers pointing forward. The goal is to have the knees slightly forward of the hands, which brings the feet closer to the hands and allows you to lift the hips higher. However, your pike flexibility will dictate how close you can place your feet to your hands and perform the kneeling tuck press. When performing the kneeling tuck press, you want to ensure the weight is placed on the middle of the hands and not on the palms or the fingertips. It's also helpful to set your eyes on a specific focus point. Practicing this now will help to improve your handstand kickups. Imagine a line on the floor between the palms of your hands. You want to set your eyes to look at the center of this imaginary line. At the start of each rep, twist your hands into the floor towards the pinky fingers and notice how the elbow pits face forward. This will externally rotate the shoulders and help to keep the elbows locked. Next, lean the shoulders forward and over the fingertips so you can feel your weight being placed into the hands. Then, protract the shoulders by spreading your shoulder blades across your back and actively pushing into the floor. From the kneeling position, focus on lifting the hips up and forward as if trying to stack your hips above your wrists. As you do this, the shoulders will move from protraction to elevation as long as you keep actively pushing down into the floor. Straighten the legs by contracting the quads and open the shoulder angle by pushing your head and chest towards your thighs. Remember, your pike flexibility will dictate the position of the feet and, therefore, the angle you will create between the legs and the torso. Do your best to close this angle as much as possible. It's best to pause for 3 to 10 seconds at the top of each rep. This gives you a chance to check in and make sure the elbows are locked, the shoulders are elevated, the legs are straight, the eyes are looking down between the palms of the hands, and the weight is in the middle of the hands. To complete the rep, bend the knees and slowly lower the hips to rest on the calves. That's one rep. Performing sets of 3 to 5 reps with a 5 to 10 second hold in each rep is a good starting place for most people. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.